Hey guys, it's Bill here from the Champ Maker Space in Canton, Ohio. I'm just doing a quick test. I just got this new resin in uh, for our photon, our AnyCubic photon printer. It's over there. Um, it says it's ABS-like and fast curing. Although when I looked on the website for it, for the settings for our printer, they seem to be very close to the current settings that we use for the AnyCubic uh, as far as speed. So I don't know how much faster curing it is. But I am very curious about how durable the new filament is. Um, all of these were printed at the exact same slicer settings. And once they were printed, I dried them underneath our uh, fingernail light here uh, on an extra like maybe 10 minutes just to make sure everything was fully dry so um, I've got the yellow one here that I made with this stuff I've got my green one here that I made with the green any cubic and the red one is actually a different figure because I dropped it and already broke it so I had to grab this guy, and that's made with the red any cubic. So I know I'm not doing any m massively scientific test here. It's more of a just real world scenario testing. So we've noticed that they shatter quite easy just dropping them. So I'm just gonna hold these up here above my head as hard, high as I can hold them and kind of drop them. And we'll see if we can catch them in frame and see if we can see what they do. All right, so that one survived fairly well. I'm going to drop them again. All right. And you can see he shattered, as I expected. All right, we're going to do the green one now. And he survived that drop. Was, oh, no, wait, he didn't. His head broke off. We're going to drop him again. And he survived, but his head did break off. Now, with the new one, we're going to try him. Oh, he bounced on the floor. Hold on. All right. Try him again. Try him again. One more time. Uh... He still looks good. And that was holding him up a good three and a half feet. And you see what happened with the any cubic. So let's go to a quick crush test here. So we do have a vise here. Just gonna open that up. Probably should have planned this out a little bit better. You can see it. We'll fix that in editing. <laughs> All right. So we're going to put the red guy in. And so there's tight enough just to hold him in. We're going to go. He already popped with a quarter of a turn. Exploded. And he's pretty much shattered uh, on a, just over a half a turn. Uh, we're going to do the green. I'm not going to put the base in there. Okay, so there's snug like we had before. And he broke and fell out. Let's try him face down here. Alright, so there's snug. We're going to do half a turn. He broke. And, yeah, he's broken. Alright, last one. And he's still in brand new condition. So we're going to put him in here. They're snug. I'm going to go half a turn. Full turn. Got a little pop on a little tiny piece. I don't know if you can even see that. As you, as you can see, the table's moving. I've got him in there so tight. Let's uh, take him out. <laughs> Holy crap. Look at that. Ha 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 ha. 
Okay, that's kind of impressive. Look at that. I had him crushed in the vise so hard that it was moving the table and it actually knocked my phone over. These other guys couldn't even take half a turn. I think he took two, I think he took two and a half. Well, if you were wondering if this was more durable than these, the answer is yes. These cost thirty-five dollars for five hundred milliliters. This one was thirty-two dollars for a thousand milliliters. I got two bottles of that for the same price as one of that. Yeah, I think I'll be buying that again.